All right, guys, so I'm going to give you a quick stretch to get you moving, especially good for you if you're sitting at a laptop all day. So again, bring your hands together, interlace your fingers, and then stretch your arms forwards to stretch out the fingers. It should feel really nice if you're at a laptop all day. And we're going to take that stretch all the way up towards the ceiling, keep the arms long, and try to lengthen the sides of your rib cage as much as possible. And then we're going to start to move the arms from side to side and imagine that the rib cage is drawing out towards the side so you feel that stretch along the waist. Get the hips involved. And then you're going to release the fingers. You're going to take the arms out to the side and make circles with the wrists three times one way. Taking the arms all the way down and then three times the other way. I'm just going to turn to the side so you can see me. So you're going to take the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers again. Then you're going to draw the fist down towards the heels. Let the shoulder blades draw together and lift your chest up towards the ceiling. So you get this extension through the spine, a little bit of a stretch for your shoulders and your belly. Then you're going to bend your knees and fold your body forwards. Now if it feels comfortable too, you can keep the arms where they are. If it doesn't, take your hands towards the floor. They might reach the floor or you might be quite far away depending on your body, depending on what time of day it is. Once you're there, just let your head nod forwards and back and shake from side to side to release any tension from your neck. And from there, you're going to come down into a tabletop. So just bend the knees and take the knees to the floor. Bring your right leg forwards, coming into a lunge. Interlace the fingers again. Press the hands to the right thigh. And let your hips sink down towards your right ankle. So don't let your knee go too far past the ankle. We want to keep the knee on top. So if you need to move that knee a little bit further forwards or the foot further forwards, then do that so you're protecting your knee joint. You're gonna lift the left arm up if you wanna go a little bit deeper and then take a stretch over towards the right side. Take a nice long deep breath in and a slow sigh out. Take the hands back down to the floor, right knee comes to join the left, left foot steps forwards, bring it up, interlace the fingers, hands press against left thigh, just to give you a bit of stability, then you're going to sink the hips down. So remembering that knee is over the ankle, so if you need to shuffle that knee and ankle a little bit further forwards, then do so. Feel that stretch through the front of your right hip. If you want to go a little bit deeper, the right arm lifts up. Give, us, give yourself a good stretch towards the left side. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Take the hands back down to the floor. Left knee comes back to join the right. Back into tabletop, two cat cows. So you're going to lift your chest forwards and lift your tailbone up. Then you go around your spine and push the shoulder blades up towards the ceiling in the opposite direction and let your chin tuck towards your chest. Once more like that, lifting the chest forwards, lifting the tailbone up. And then you go around the spine, pushing the shoulder blades up and the chin to the chest. Good, come back to a neutral spine, then tuck your toes and send your pelvis back towards your heels. Just wiggle your knees a little bit further back so you start to feel a stretch into your toes, the soles of your feet, your ankles. And then let your forehead melt down towards the floor. If the forehead is far away from the floor, take your elbows to the ground, bend your elbows up and just place your head on your hands instead. So you still get this lengthening and decompressing of your spine. Should feel really nice again after sitting in a chair all day or at a laptop. And just take another deep breath in here. And a slow, long breath out. Calming the nervous system. Bringing the body back up. You're gonna walk your hands back towards your knees. And then come up to your toes and then just take your heels to the ground. So lengthen your legs enough that you can take that forward fold again that we did before. Now I want you to keep your hands and your head really heavy. You're going to scoop your belly in and you're going to roll yourself up to standing. Take this really slowly and really feel everything that's going on in your back. Imagine that your vertebra, the bones that make up your spine, are stacking 
one on top of the other. And rolling up. I'm just going to come to face you again. So you're going to roll the shoulders up to the ears and slide them down the back. We're going to take that twice more. Really let this be a big movement in the shoulder joint. Last little thing, dropping the left ear to the left shoulder and bring it back through center, right ear to right shoulder. Bring it back through center and drop your chin round to your chest. Take those circles of the chin round one way. So if you're thinking about the chin going around in circles, then you don't put pressure in the back of the neck instead of thinking about the head. And then taking the chin around in the opposite direction. Again, thinking about the chin making the circle round rather than the head. So you keep the length in the back of the neck. No compression. Lifting the shoulders up to the ears with a deep breath in. And as you exhale, drop them down. <sighs> Release the tension out of the body. Inhale to lift the shoulders up. Exhale to drop them down, suddenly, last one like that. Inhale, lifting the shoulders up. And exhale, drop them down. Thank you guys. If you liked that video, feel free to subscribe. The link is down below here or over here. And I'd love to see you again soon. Take care.